Hey there guys, what's going on and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be a little mixed match. So I'm heading to Palmerston North for a wedding, which is really exciting for this weekend. So we leave tomorrow, which is great. But it also means that I'm not going to be doing my normal routine and so like in terms of workouts, working, all that jazz. Probably won't be eating the same as I normally do either, but that's life, isn't it? So I thought, what better way to show you guys like how you can eat healthy, how you can make sure you're exercising when you're not in your normal ideal circumstances by bringing you along in this video. So I don't know about you guys, I love, love watching videos of people packing, organizing all that jazz. Call me weird, whatever. But I thought that I might as well start this video packing the old suitcase since that's one of the jobs I need to get done today. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd bring you along. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe if you're new here. We really appreciate having you on board on this team, going through this health and fitness journey together. So, without further ado, let's get packing. Okay, so what I need to pack is pretty much a little bit of everything. So, because I'm going to the wedding, I need something nice to wear, which is actually at my parents' house at Christchurch. So that sorts out that situation, but I need like nice shoes. I need workout gear. I need casual clothes. It's summer, it's gonna be warm. Hopefully, it's Palmerston North. Normally pretty rainy. Anyone that's been there knows that. Um, so yeah, I need shoes, active wear, normal clothes. I need to pack my skincare stuff. I need to pack my tanning stuff because your girl's white and she's wearing a pink dress. I know. Anyway, so that's my jam. And I don't think you guys are gonna wanna watch it in normal time because for some reason, I think it might take a little bit longer than I thought. So probably just gonna do a time lapse. So let's count it down in three, two, one. Faded in this dark and smoky room. With your face reflecting bright green, brights and blues You know I kinda want to disappear with you But I don't think that is what I would usually do Okay, so that was just the time lapse of all my packing and I realized as I was going along I probably should have been showing you some of my products that I use instead of just packing them in the bag and then being done with it. So I said that I was tanning, I have been using the Bondi Sands Aero. Just in the light to medium, I am quite a light toned person anyway. Um, I'm kind of pink or translucent, those sort of colors. So I just thought I'd go with the light to medium. It's not too bad, the last time I used it, it was kind of, like even for me, it was still quite light. I didn't see too much of a change, but this time around I'm going to apply it um, after I have my shower tomorrow and then I'm going to apply it an hour later and then so I let it sit the whole day I'll rinse it off tomorrow night when I have a shower before heading to bed. So yep, yeah, that's the one that I use Then I guess I'll also show you my kind of bride or die skin products So I was lucky enough to win a competition on Instagram where I run a whole bunch of skin food products and 
that was super ideal because I absolutely love the brand. I've been using them for quite a few years now, maybe like two or so years. So I entered the competition, for sake of entering it, kind of as you do on Instagram, and it turns out I won. So I won about three or so hundred dollars worth of products, which I was so grateful for because I was actually running low on most of the stuff that I already had. So face wipes. So they are just nice standard face wipes. They have aloe vera, calomile, uh, avocado, coconut, and macadamia nut oil. So lots of nice oils in there with a bit of aloe vera. I have these that so I can take my makeup off after um, the wedding. Also, I like to use them after the gym if you're not going straight home or you're not going straight to have a shower of any sort. If you're going to sit around, I like to wipe off the sweat off my face just to stop those pores getting clogged with all the sweat. Here's that. Um, my... Hold on, one second. Okay, I'm back. So my go-to like face washes at the moment, it kind of depends on what I've been doing. If it's just a general day and I haven't really been exercising or it's like I'm just woken up in the morning or just going to bed at night, I'll probably use this one here, which is a cream cleanser. Uh, it's got manuka honey, kiwi fruit, aloe vera extract, lime and avocado oil. So I use that because it's just a nice cream cleanser, nice and gentle on the skin. Um, all of these are like very natural products, all made in New Zealand, which is awesome. Um, if I was to sweat a whole bunch, I would use the exfoliating scrub. So that's this, that one there. It has walnut shells as the exfoliant, uh, cucumber extract, manuka honey, aloe vera, sweet almond and lime. So yeah, I would use that one if I was needing like an extra bit of scrub if I definitely sweat a lot. Cool, and after the shower, after I pop out, I would use a toner, so it's this one here, Organic Coconut Mist Toner. So I quite like this one, it's just got witch hazel and aloe vera in it as well as the coconut um, oils or coconut water sort of thing as well added into it. So I would just spray that all over my face once I've like dried myself after the shower, let that sit before I put anything else on. Uh, if I'm feeling quite dehydrated I'll use these next products normally after that I would be happy just to go ahead and use a moisturizer I currently just finished my one it was a glow glow labs one yeah so I just finished that one but I have a SPF moisturizer from skin food that I will start using too I need to find it um but if I am starting to feel a little bit dehydrated because you know how some days you just feel really I don't know your skin just feels really meh so I would use so this one here is a hydrating face serum so that one there i would use pretty much over my cheeks my nose and my forehead just in that like sort of t-zone there but then i would use this one here the brightening eye serum just that one underneath those eyes there so i'd let that sit and uh, if i wasn't going out anywhere i would probably then move on to putting on an oil so that one there just a coconut oil or coconut and nuts but the main one there is the coconut oil in that one um, I really like this one. It's super good for hydrating. I have another one which is a rose hip one and I will often use that if I have had any pimples or anything like that and they've broken out, I'll use it to help reduce the scarring. So, but my go-to, as you can tell, because the oil has gotten all over the packaging, is the coconut one there. So I'll probably use that. Um, if I use that, I probably won't put a moisturizer on because I just won't let the oil sink in. But yeah, so I'll use that. And then these two are probably my go-to masks at the moment. Well, one's a mask and one's a night cream. So again, if I'm feeling really dehydrated and it's night time, instead of using the um, serums and the oils, I will use this one here, which is the Restore Night Cream from Skin Food. I'm hoping you can see these and like it zooms in or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'll use this one, which is Manuka Honey, Broccoli and Beetroot Extracts. So it's quite a thick cream. I'll use that all over my face um, and it's one of those ones you just leave on overnight. And if I want to do a night mask, I will use this one here. It's an avocado night mask. I love this one as well. It's a little bit thinner than the night cream. Again, it does that drying um, effect at night, which does start to feel a little bit strange at first. And I was a little bit like dubious of when I was using it. It's brilliant. You wake up the next morning, your skin feels amazing. So those are my like go-to skin food products at the moment. I do have a bunch more. Um, I have them all up there. I have like the mud mask, gel cleanser. Um, I have a whole bunch of different body bars. This is what I'm gonna be taking away with me, which is the nourishing one with rose hip, orange, wheat germ, and apricot oils. So yeah, oh, and this is a little bit of a strange one. So I have 
used a million different deodorant spray ones all that jazz and I can never find one that works for me I sweat quite a lot when it comes to the gym and whatnot and I hate smelling so as you all do obviously um, this one has been my absolute ride or die since I have gotten it you'll see it's pretty much empty so it is the little mango vanilla natural deodorant so it's vegan and cruelty free made in New Zealand it's awesome so it is made with mango butter um, and like tapioca starch and stuff like that to help soak up all those um, what are they called? sweat that's the one um, it's brilliant and it doesn't have a really strong smell it has a look like a really light coconut smell but I love it it's great it does the job really well uh, you still yeah it's really hard to explain you still sweat so like if you were doing really hard work like exercise you're still going to sweat you're still going to get like, wet as such but it doesn't smell which is so like you know, it's so random because obviously if you were to sweat you would expect you would smell so this has been so ideal it doesn't make my god it's like doesn't leave marks it doesn't um leave any smells or anything like that on my clothes because sometimes you know you get smell underneath the armpits of your clothes this is brilliant i would 100 percent recommend anybody to try this and as you can see yeah like i've used a lot of it i love it and i'm gonna have to buy some more soon because i don't want to run out anyway so that is pretty much all my ride or dies all my go-to's when it comes to my skincare the things that i take away with me when i'm on holiday that's pretty much it and the next time you'll see me we'll be off to Christchurch then off to Palmy. see you there <laughs>